Oh, sorry about that. I was just reading about chapter 12, bodywork in the Haynes manual. Today, Leanne will be fitting the speaker wires into the Volvo. Lewis will be fixing the trims made of plastic. And earlier today, we fitted the doors. So, hopefully you enjoy. Thank you, Laura. Um, these are some of the plastic trims Laura was talking about. Uh, this is the B pillar plastic trim, and unfortunately, it is broken. So, we're going to be repairing this. Um, we'll probably use a bit of five minute epoxy um, and maybe some glue something in there to strengthen it. Um, we're also going to be cleaning them, keying them up and painting them black because they probably look black to you on the camera but it's actually a very dark blue. Uh, that's more black. I don't know if you can see the difference. Can you see the difference? Yeah. Blue and black. So we've got these people are trims and these rear quarter light trims um, to do and we're also going to be cleaning up and painting the sun visors which are full of sand yeah they need a thorough deep clean mm. so that's what i'm going to be doing right now i have my broken trim i have some five minute epoxy i have something to mix it on I have a piece of thin metal to reinforce it. So, let's cut a piece of metal, sort of the right shape-ish. Should have probably worn some gloves. Right. This is the head unit I do not like. I've never heard of a shark radio. It doesn't really do anything, but it is a removable face. Ooh. Quality. Right, there's the first bit out. So let's see how we get rid of this.
Marco, I've just taken out the binnacle from the dash. I'm going to show you something. We made a huge mistake. We thought that we could just mask up the dash when we got it spot sunblasted and everything would be fine. But as you can see from inside here, that is full of sand. We thought we were pretty thorough with the mask. Yeah, we thought we'd really masked it up, but it is just everywhere inside. So I've taken all the dash apart. I'm gonna take this apart now, get this all cleaned up and try and hoover up as much sand as we can. It's all out of the switches and it's all out from behind the vents and everything. So I think I've got most of it, but um, thorough clean, here we go. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these four screws from the corner, pull the back off, clean the front, make sure there's no crap behind the, what do you call the hands? Hands. The needles, needles, not hands. Gonna make sure there's no dust behind the needles. Did we do? Don't move it. No, show it. Let me get the camera. There's just a little bit of sand behind there. Silly us. We masked up. We masked up big time. And it's just got in there, isn't it? It's got everywhere. It's got in there. Anyway, it's a good, good opportunity to uh, clean it out. Does that needle look weird to you? It does, doesn't it? Guess it was running hot one day, so they decided to fix it by bending the needle down. No. Have they been painted? Are they original? Yeah, they're um, orange. <laughs> A dash which is not the nicest we have cracks 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 and a big bubbly squishy thing which is weird so we're gonna bodge it up and hope it looks all right uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some sealer I don't have any black otherwise we'd use black but I've got some light gray <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna Put it in the crack, we're going to wipe it smooth with our finger and then we're going to spray the dash the same way I did all the other trim. We're going to scuff it up, clean it and rattle can it black. The whole dash. Right, this is just PU sealer. 
this is light grey. Black would have been better, but I don't want to be black, so so it's going to be what it's going to be. Um, it's handy to cut the end off a nice clean 45. Hold it directly over. Because I sound like I know what I'm doing. I've never done this before. Mm -hmm. And squeeze it in. Now this is a microfiber with some panel wipe on it. Let's just start removing the excess. Oh man, I wedged it right in that crevasse, didn't I? Crevasse? Crevasse. I don't know what I'm doing. Have you tried turning it off and on again? That is a beautifully sealed dash crack. <laughs> Let me get right in there, look, let me see. Ooh, look at that. That's okay. That's good. Once this rail came out back, hopefully it will blend in with all these other cracks. Mm. Well, it's a cracky look, isn't it? It's a crack look. It is um, black now. I think it's gone okay. You can you can still see where the cracks were, but they're nowhere near as bad. Especially this massive one here. Uh, nowhere near. I as bad. think that's an acceptable quick fix. Mhm. Mm Without sourcing another black <clears throat> dash related car. Yeah. It has come out looking lovely. Yeah, and this is just rattle can satin black. Um, I'm gonna say that there's probably a product that you should have used, that we should have used for painting this sort of vinyl stuff, but I'm confident that the, the plastic adhesion promoter will have done its job and this stuff won't come off. But time will tell. So. For a temporary fix, it's perfect. Yeah, and those bits are painted. So all the black bits are painted. Do you grease up the back faces? Yeah, it's it's um it's always good to have grease, grease on all faces. 
grease on your own face. I usually have grease on my own face. It's a new film. Grease face. Grease face. Is that a face or face? Face or face. <laughs> <laughs> right, there's that lower. Oh, well. Do a drive that with a battery pack. Ready? Thank you. 